Good morning, welcome to Forest Harvest. This is the common land, lovely open woodland. It's got, it's, although it's only the end of August, it does feel autumny. There's a chill in the air. But I'm here quite early, so I thought I'd show you around. This is where the blackbird nested. Strangely, got two broods out of there, which I think is quite uncommon. And then over here, a little hole in the ceiling, that's where Wren had a nest. Um, we saw the bits of fluff and the insulation coming out, so we knew something was going on. Then they flew and fledged. It took quite a while, actually, a few weeks, which was a surprise. Here we've got some creepers growing up the side. And what a treat. First time we've ever had any grapes. It's a dessert white. We're looking forward to those. And along here, letting the ivy growing up because it looks so beautiful on an old building. This is where the wasp's nest was. And look, something's got it. We're not unhappy because we keep bees. Um, and wasps are a pain in the autumn because they start going in for the winter stores. Uh, we think a woodpecker got it. It was a beautifully made wasp nest, but quite glad to see it go. The other one, I think, is bats mainly. Uh, they sort of have an iridescent poo, and also when we took it down to check the nest, a uh, bat flew out, so we suspect that is one of the roofs for bats. Anyway, here's the woodland, the forest garden. And isn't that bed magnificent? That's really pretty. And lots of bee-loving flowers. We have a bean of onanensis. These lovely daisies. Beautiful. Oh, that daisies there. Coming into the... We've got a walk around here. You can walk around this way and all the way around here and come back this way. It's our forest garden. Okay, starting off well, you can't see because of the sun very well, but oh, in fact, I'll walk up here and look back because the walnuts are splendid. We did some walnuts this year, pickled walnuts. They've turned out really well the first time we've had enough really to do that. If you look here, the grey squirrels have already started. But I think even this year we've had so many that um, they've left some for us. So that's the walnut tree. Coming around here, we've got the black currant. It's about 25 years old, which is much older than you'd think, but um, it's because it grows in the wild, I think, in the, the edge of the woodland, it actually stays longer because it likes companion planting, even grasses and stuff. We have a third, the birds have a third, and a third goes to waste. A bit of a hugel culture over here, um, a raised bed with logs and muck. And it's great because it's, it actually is away from the forest. You don't get the forest roots and you can grow because it's raised. It's quite well drained. So you get things like rosemary, which is a nice, uh, they prefer a bit dry. Coming around here. Oh, this is a kapow. It's like a blueberry. It's a, it's a beautiful little, and does well here. I think the thing is you try and some things fail and some things succeed. And this little plant seems to do really well with our soil. Black currants are good. Right, coming around here, love ferns on the edge of a woodland. And this is your flax, but great for tying up. All you need is strip a bit off and tie with it. Every year, our quince, oh, there's a quince, which is nice. Ah, I get a good picture of it. There you go, the quince. It's a beautiful tree, but every year it gets this black spot. It's some sort of mildew or fungus, we don't know. But it still gives us quinces, so we're not too worried at the moment. Bamboo's great for a woodland. There's the willow. We cut that for basket in the, in the autumn. Coming around here. Oh, there is a little. I can get to it this time. We try to grow different things. Gingo biloba, one of the oldest plants. And, oh, here's um, a bullis of some sort. It's a type, I bought a green gauge, and these little chaps, they're not very good this year. Last year we got a good crop, there's a better one. Um, it's a beautiful little uh, plum, but I'm um, not quite sure what the actual variety is. It's, a, it's a, one of our own local varieties, you could say. Here we have some gooseberries. Now, you might be surprised to see that gooseberries are still on the, on the bush. But the blackbirds seem to have preferred the 
blackberries which are out now and have left this for us which is very kind of them. We have some good crops off here, it's a lovely sweet dark uh, gooseberry. It's just going around and collecting little bits which is the fun of having a forest garden. This is a blueberry, we don't get much off it but it's a nice plant to have. And then red currants over here. We actually got some red currant jelly this year. More red currants. Again, the bamboo, fabulous for, you know, sticks. And they love the, the edge of the woodland. Oh, I've left, they've left some. Here we go. Some hazels here. These are left by the grey squirrels this year. We have a fight a bit to try and get them before the grey squirrels do. Come around here, the raspberries, here's a few here. The autumn raspberries do really well because we have a crop um, early on in the spring. You might only get a few bowls full and then you have a lovely autumn crop which goes on. We have picked them in December, they're beautiful. So this is going to be an excellent little area this year. Coming around here, a little mulberry there, doing quite well but never had much success with mulberry. This is as far as I've ever got one before. We do clear a bit so that the sun gets to the base. You have to clear the trees a little bit. Oh, there's a little, a little hazel here. That's the way to our toilet in there. And that's the way to the field. Tried a bit of a green roof experiment there. What I want to show you here, this is the back of Judas bed, so we've just about gone round the garden now, is Catinus is beautiful. That's great for flowers, uh, flower arranging. Here, this one, it's a pepper. And if you can just see that there, that is our first pepper. It isn't um, a true pepper plant, but it's a one that you use the same way. You can pick the, uh, the, the little seeds and then you grind them in the same way as you would pepper and they do make similar flavour. Well that's about it for now. We've got, these aren't uh, indigenous but it's nice to pepper the forest garden with a few nice things. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed the tour. Come and see us sometime. Bye.